all right guys we're about to do a short video reaction all right and please don't don't mind the headsets i know the headsets look pink and all of that it was a gift they were a gift from my sister so please don't mind the headsets my headsets are actually dead right now so i don't have any other headsets besides these ones so please don't judge them and we're about to check this video out it's titled how thomas aquinas refuted prophet muhammad and the religion of islam this is a video i came across i think yesterday so i'm trying to check it out and i'm trying to react to it so please drop a like on the video and let's get started with it there are many religions in this world but out of all of them christianity and islam are the leading two on the side of christianity the angelic doctor of the church thomas aquinas has written profoundly in defense of Christendom, and in his work titled Summa Contra Gentiles, Aquinas refutes the heresies which Islam's greatest prophet Muhammad taught. Aquinas starts off and states, On the other hand, those who introduced the errors of the sects proceeded in contrary fashion, as is clear from Muhammad, who enticed peoples with the promise of carnal pleasures, to the desire of which the concupiscence of the flesh instigates. He also delivered commandments, in keeping with his promises, by giving the reins to carnal pleasure, in which it is easy for carnal men to obey. Aquinas argues that Muhammad developed followers quickly from carnal and lustful pleasures that he espoused. For example, in Surah 4, Ayah 24 in the Quran, we read that, And also prohibited to you are all married women, except those your right hand possess. This is the decree of Allah. Hold on, bro. Who is this guy? I mean, what is he? Was he some sort of a saint? Was he some kind of a saint? Was he part of the, the alias church or what? Like, I really don't know this guy. I haven't heard about him. Um, if you know who this guy is, please hit me up in the comments. And show me articles as well as to who is this guy. Is he legit or is he not legit? Because what he's talking about right now is... I'm not sure if he's talking from a scholar perspective or if he's talking from a, a Christian hating on the Islamic side of things. So I'm not quite sure. Hit me up in the comments if you know who this guy is. And please, please, please leave me some articles so that I can read about this guy. Because I don't know him. I just heard about him right now seeing the title of this video. But already he's talking a whole lot of things that I wouldn't say make sense, but they are very controversial so please hit me up in the comments if you have any information about this guy i really want to check him out now let's continue upon you the woman your right hand possess in ayah 24 are those women which are prisoners of war or slaves that a muslim may have and according to the quran allah decrees that muslims can use their slaves and prisoners of war for sexual intercourse this is made more clear in Sunan Abi Dawud 2155, which is an authentic Sahih graded hadith which records the context for the Quranic verse above. Abu Sa'id al Qudri said, The Apostle of Allah sent a military expedition to Altas on the occasion of the Battle of Hunayn. They met their enemy and fought with them. They defeated them and took them captives. Some of the companions of the Apostle of Allah were reluctant to have relations with the female captives because of their pagan husbands. So Allah, the Exalted, sent down the Quranic verse, And all married women are forbidden unto you, save those captives whom your right hand possess. This hadith speaks of a military expedition in which many Muslim men were wary to have intercourse with the female captives and prisoners of war. But Allah sent down the Quranic verse, in which, as we read before, gives them the right and authority to use their female captives. Verses and hadiths like these demonstrate that Muhammad misled men in the Arabian Peninsula with carnal desires, as if a man had 50 slave women, he could use them all for intercourse. Aquinas continues further and states, Also, the lessons of truth which he inculcated were only such as can be easily known to any man of average wisdom by his natural powers. In fact, he mingled the truths which he taught with many fables and most false doctrines. An example of these fables that Muhammad taught, or which is known in the Quran, comes from Surah 5, Ayah 110, in which we read, And on judgment day, Allah will say, 
O Jesus, son of Mary, remember my favor upon you and your mother, how I supported you with the Holy Spirit, so you spoke to people in your infancy and in adulthood, how I taught you writing, wisdom, the Torah, and the Gospel, how you molded a bird from clay by my will and breathed into it, and it became a real bird by my will. This same exact story of Jesus. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That verse or that I in the Holy Quran, isn't it confirming that um, what Christians believe to say Jesus is God? Isn't it confirming it? Because already it says that Jesus Christ had the authority to create life, right? It speaks about him creating nature. It, it's, it's, doesn't it speak to the verse or the ayah in the Holy Bible that says that nothing else was created outside of him? He's the one that created everything. So right now, the Quran is going in unison with the Holy Bible when it speaks about Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, being involved in the creation of the world or the things that we can see, the tangible things, right? It's, it's almost agreeing with it, but I'm not quite sure about it because it's only the last part of the ayah, right? And this doesn't seem like it's a hadith. It comes straight from the Holy Quran. So... I'm not quite sure what you think about it. Hit me up in the comments. We're almost done with... I think we still have like four minutes of this video, so let's just finish it off. Molding a clay bird and giving life to it comes from the infancy gospel of Thomas, which is a false and non-historical text about the early years of Jesus' life. The Quran and or Muhammad completely rips this story off from this false text and claims it to be real. I've covered this story in the Quran deeply in another video link below. Aquinas further adds more about Muhammad and states, nor did he add any signs of supernatural agency, which alone are a fitting witness to divine inspiration, since a visible work that can only be from God proves the teacher of truth to be invisibly inspired. But he asserted that he was sent in the power of arms, which sign is not lacking even to robbers and tyrants. Aquinas argues that Muhammad did not do miracles, or at least any, that can be proven in order to demonstrate the reliability of his claims as a prophet of Allah. One of the major miracles of Islam is the splitting of the moon, in Surah 54, to which there is no eyewitness testimony around the world to see such a massive event such as the moon being split into two. Thomas Aquinas states further, Again, those who believed in him from the outset were not wise men practiced in things divine and human, but bestial men who dwelt in the deserts, utterly ignorant of all divine teaching, and it was by a multitude of such men and the force of arms that he compelled others to submit to his law. This force of arms and military expeditions made up much of Muhammad's prophethood, and it granted him much power. In Sahih Muslim 1767a, Muhammad is quoted as saying, I will expel the Jews and the Christians from the Arabian Peninsula and will not leave any but Muslim. Furthermore, we read in Surah 2, Ayah 216, that fighting has been made obligatory upon you believers, though you dislike it. This ayah demonstrates that fighting is part of the nature of Islam and is not a choice since it's deemed as a moral obligation if someone is called to fight. Aquinas begins to finish up by stating, Lastly, no divine oracles of prophets in a previous age bore witness to him. Rather, he corrupted almost all the teaching of the Old and New Testaments by a narrative replete with fables, as one may see by a pursual of his law. Aquinas articulates that no prophets or scripture speak of Muhammad either in the Old or New Testament. Furthermore, Islam teaches that the Bible itself has been corrupted and is not to be trusted, Yet interestingly, many Muslims appeal to the Bible to argue that Muhammad is prophesied about, when they at the same time believe the Bible is false, and so they pick and choose what suits their theology when it works for them in their favor. Hence, by a cunning device, he did not commit the reading of the Old and New Testament books to his followers, lest he should thereby be convicted of falsehood. Thus, it is evident that those who believe his words believe lightly. St. Thomas Aquinas makes it clear and evident that one must not hold to the teachings of Islam if they desire the truth. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, 
please consider liking and subscribing. Alright, so this guy is basically saying in this video that the Prophet was a, a man of war, right? He was a military guy. He's basically saying that this guy was a tyrant, right? He's just saying that this guy didn't want followers to experience God from the perspective that is spiritual. He's saying that this guy, which is the Prophet Muhammad, forced people to believe in him and to believe in his doctrine through military through war right that's basically what he's saying from the entire video that we've watched right now he is basically saying that islam was created for you know um tyrants it was created for we can even say terrorists right he's basically saying this religion was founded upon not spirituality, but mainly um, people who are, you know, um, he just called some of them um, beastly people, right? You know, beastly people are people that, um, you know, sleep with animals and cannibals, basically, right? And he also called them um, people who would go into these military battles in order for them to like subdue countries and subdue places and cities right in order for them to have slaves and to take those slaves and make them into um people they can have sex with and sleep with and all of that right and it's it's it really makes no sense because i don't think there's any other form of spirituality or religious belief that did not do the exact same thing i mean you can name all of them they did the very same thing to many tribes to many nations across the world right so this thomas guy they called him saint thomas i haven't even heard about him right i, mean, I don't think it's the same thomas as the one we see in the holy bible as the one who you know didn't believe that jesus christ rose from the dead i don't think this is the same guy i think this is somebody else maybe a scholar of note or something right but i do feel like he has always been against islam because the entire video there's nothing positive that he spoke about islam and i do know he's not the one who compiled this video somebody else compiled this video using that guy's um knowledge right so I'm not quite sure. And was this saint guy a Roman Catholic or was he a Protestant? Was he a Methodist? What was he, right? I'm not sure what he was. But please hit me up in the comments. If you have any more information about this guy, hit me up in the comments. And also tell me if you do agree with everything that was spoken about in this video, particularly about Islam being like um, a military religion right founded on military tactics and military expeditions right i'm not sure about that one because that does not relate to the religion of islam and its inception he even spoke so so badly about the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam i don't think he spoke anything good in this particular video but if he is correct if he is right hit me up in the comments and this should be people who are strictly muslims if you are a christian i don't think you'd have much information about this but if you do hit me up in the comments and let's talk about it let's engage in the comment section and talk about this thomas guy the saint thomas guy who actually hated the religion of islam and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam